Hey guys, what's up? This is Puck. Today we're gonna do a memory upgrade on the uh, Sony 701. It's a it's a laptop, an old laptop. It has an AMD processor, and this is it. Uh, great laptop, but it has a, it's a little low on memory. It has only 256. Well, and I'm gonna show you how to replace the memory. And uh, that is also from a Netherlands man, so also from a Dutch people. Um, you see it here, uh, if you turn over the laptop, put the laptop on its back, you will see a little cover here, just open it. And here you can see that you can pop in some memory. You need a special memory though. You cannot pop in all sorts of memory. This is the memory module. You see that? And this is 256 megabytes. It's PC 133 memory on the 33 megahertz. Eh? And as you can see, this one will not work eh? because this slot is not fitting. So we must look in our collection of memory if we can find something that could work this won't work, here we have something, what is this? this is 64 megabyte RAM, this is a little, little too little let's see what we have here this is not good this is only to 64, this is not good this is 128, that one could work I don't know what this is can see it, we must test. Here I see another one. This is 256. We're gonna put in this one. You see that? That's why it's good to you know always be very um neat with your um with your memory. You know, I've been we call it collecting memory for all these years you know and I'm always happy to see that I can find some memory so we popped in the memory and let's pop in a little power source here and let's see if this memory has been accepted by this laptop let's take a look you can go into the bias and see if it has been detected but for those who don't know how to go into the bias you can just start up the laptop if you get no blue screen means uh, that's a good sign if you don't get a blue screen you know that means that um, yeah the memory is not causing any errors in the machine you know and if you hear the startup sound then you know that um, there are no problems with inserting that memory module by the way the white what you're seeing is the background there's a special uh, effect of the guys of dark okay let's let's um, right mouse click the my computer icon and then we hit properties and now it will pop up if we have 512 and as you can see here 512 megabyte RAM okay let's take a look as you can see we modified this uh, XP we pimped it uh, up a bit uh, we have now 512 megabyte I think RAM you see that we have 512 megabyte RAM so this laptop is now much faster well my folks that's how to uh, insert some RAM if you uh, have these things left make sure you'll be really nice to it because you might need it one day just to make somebody else a little bit happy because a bad computer, look, they already arrived. So, um, 
till my next video. Bye now.